we've got sustainable, humane, free-range, local, farm-to-table meat, dairy and eggs, so we might as well have cruelty-free mink eyelashes too. Hi and welcome back to the channel. It looks like we humans have worked out how to use animals in every way imaginable. We love animals so much that we even want to glue their fur to our eyelids. So we've had a number of requests to make a video addressing a popular trend which is to wear eyelash extensions made from real mink fur. Not only are these companies using real mink fur, but the more sinister aspect is that some of these companies are actually claiming that the fur is cruelty free which is misleading and convincing customers that it's okay and ethical to pay for this product. These lashes are nothing new, they've been around for a while unfortunately. Madonna made them famous in 2005 when she wore diamond encrusted mink lashes. And more recently celebrities like Kylie Jenner and the Kardashians and others are promoting mink lashes. So some companies are obviously aware of the growing backlash towards animal cruelty and fur, so they've decided to take a leaf out of the meat, dairy and egg industry's marketing book and call their mink lashes cruelty free. It's important that people have the right information about such a disgustingly cruel industry because the mink lash industry is the same as the fur industry. Which means there isn't a separate in industry for mink lashes and another industry for fur. So if you support or if you wear mink eyelashes, you are supporting the fur industry. You can't produce any product that involves confining, using and commodifying an animal and call it cruelty free. The confinement, use and commodification are in themselves cruel. And even if these animals were on free range farms, they're still confined relative to being in the wild. Again, making them not cruelty free. Now, of course, many of these beauty companies are aware that fur farms have a horrible reputation, so there are a few different claims being made to put their customers' consciences at ease. One popular claim is that the fur is collected from free-range zoos and recycled during the shedding season. This exact same wording is used over and over again by multiple companies, but none of them provide any specific details. Which zoos are doing this? Are these sources certified cruelty free? No, they are not. There are no details given and there's no independent certification. Now, even if this fur was collected from free range zoos, that's still cruel because these animals in the wild, they're largely solitary animals and they like to roam. So having them live together in a confined space, no matter what size the enclosure is, is still going against their basic instincts. And that in itself is cruel. One of the most ridiculous claims we've heard comes from Velua Lashes. They claim that the fur is collected by people gently brushing live animals. Are they actually serious? Where exactly does this happen? They make it sound like they're whining and dining the mink, taking them to a romantic comedy at the movies and then using a little mink brush to gently brush their paws. Mink are quite territorial and aggressive wild animals. In fact, this is an animal who isn't afraid to take on a cobra and win. But we're supposed to believe that somewhere in a mystical land, these animals are timidly sitting around waiting for a human to brush their fur? But if you have any doubts, don't worry, because the lure is telling us absolutely no harm done to animals. And they even have a little fake ribbon to make it look like it's some kind of guarantee. And there's a self-awarded tick as well. Should you take this tick seriously? Well, it reminds us of when the Heart Foundation gave McDonald's the tick of approval many years ago in Australia. Seriously, critical thinking hats must be worn when assessing ticks of approval. None of the companies that we've come across claiming to sell cruelty-free mink eyelashes are actually certified cruelty-free. Nor do these companies provide the names or details on their websites of the farms or zoos they're getting their mink fur from so that consumers or animal rights organisations can substantiate these cruelty-free claims. In fact, this beauty website tried to substantiate the cruelty-free claims so that they too could sell ethical mink lashes. They asked for accreditation and documentation, but nothing was provided. They didn't buy the lies and they chose to use faux lashes instead because cruelty free real mink lashes don't exist. Yet another example is this beauty blogger. Earlier this year, she contacted Belua Lashes asking a few questions to try and substantiate their cruelty free claims. She asked for information and evidence of their supplier and about verification. 
but nothing was provided. She couldn't get direct answers from the law. She finds it very hard to believe that fur can be obtained for such a large demand without the use of fur farms. You have to wonder, why aren't these beauty companies answering direct questions and providing accredited evidence of their cruelty-free claims? As we always say, people who have nothing to hide, hide nothing. And the problem is people believe these lies and popular YouTubers share these products with their massive audiences, creating more demand. So where are mink lashes realistically coming from? Fur farms. And what really happens on fur farms? Well, the mink are confined in small wire cages and therefore not allowed to carry out their natural behaviours, which include roaming several miles a day, as well as bathing in water due to being semi-aquatic animals. Some of the other cruel conditions that minks suffer on breeding farms include self-mutilation, infected wounds and chronic stress that can lead to attacking each other. It's important to remember that no matter what the conditions are, all of these animals are ultimately murdered for their fur by gassing. And this is not always effective and some of them regain consciousness whilst being skinned. And some beauty companies aren't even claiming to be cruelty free. They're not even trying to hide the cruelty. So what can you do about this? Don't buy it. You vote with your dollar and these industries only exist because consumers are demanding their products. Don't follow the disgraceful example that Kylie Jenner and other celebrities are setting for this cruel trend. Be a lot smarter and a lot more compassionate. The great news is you can buy faux mink eyelash extensions which have the same lightweight, realistic feel as the real thing. And if you want to keep it even more al natural, you can buy human hair eyelash extensions. Because if you're going to glue someone else's hair to your eyelids, it might as well be someone from your own species. Remember that whether you wear it as a jacket or stick it to your eyelids, fur does not make you beautiful. It makes you very, very ugly. Share this video around so people get the right information that there is no such thing as cruelty-free mink eyelashes. And also, please share this video with your favourite beauty YouTubers so they get the right information, they get the message and they don't promote these horrible products to their large audiences. Thanks for watching guys. Leave your comments down below including your favourite faux lashes. Like, share and subscribe and remember until next time that going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do and you can keep it extra beautiful by wearing faux lashes. See you next video. Bye guys. So much for something that just, it's so hard. <laughs> you gotta take the power back Gabby. I know that sounds really cliche but again we've been there and 